Hello! Happy September 28th. It's a new moon! Ooh, ooh. Freaking love new moons! Um, so yeah, I am shuffling my power deck and we're going to do a new moon reading that I found over at, um, I think it's Zend Out. And so I thought that was just really cool. Um, so we're first going, we're going to do a three card spread. And the first card is um, your shadow self. Like, what is coming to the surface for this new moon? So let's see right now. What's coming to the surface for people? So attachment. That's what that... Um, and being attached. So what's coming forward is that attachment is what is coming to the surface. That shadow self of being really attached to say an outcome, say a situation, that, you know, it's sort of this, again, it's like these thoughts that are rolling around in your head and they're coming to the surface and you're like, oh, I don't, I know that's the best thing for me, but I don't want to do it. And it's being attached to the outcome of it. Um, whether you think, you, you know it's your best and highest good and you're not following through because you are afraid of the outcome. And so this is just your, what's coming forward is five of Michaels. So that means there's change a coming, change is happening. And um, so what your team is saying is in regards to this attachment of the outcome, maybe it's control of the outcome, you can't control it. And you can only control how you react to it, how you approach it. And so it's letting go of the attachment of how is this going to work itself out and doing and really following the guidance so you are being guided. Um, so that is that shadow self of not listening to yourself and because you're attached to the outcome. Um, try to have that more approach where you are positive, where you're coming from, all right, this is happening for the highest good. I'll, fi I'll figure it out as I go. The next card is how you are, when you're denying this part of yourself, that shadow self, what, um, what's manifesting in your life. So let's see, manifesting in your life when you don't acknowledge this part of yourself, when you don't acknowledge your, you know, that next path because you're afraid of the outcome. lost a card but it's a power card so what's manifesting is very powerful and when you deny that power that means you're weakened that means you probably get colds a lot more you get sick or you feel tired um, so if you're feeling tired this is a hundred percent for you like stop denying what you know you should be doing not only for your body but for your soul the things the path there's something that you need to let go of so that you can move forward. Um, and again, it's not attaching yourself to the outcome, but it's like, wow, in this moment, like I know 100% I'm supposed to maybe let go of this situation or this person um, or a thought, and so I can move forward. The card that's coming forward again is another five. It's divine guidance. So again, change is happening whether you like it or not. So you can decide to make the change or you can just let the universe do it. And if the universe does it, it's like a parent who's like, you can do this easy way or the hard way. So if you make the choice, okay, I'm going to make the changes. I'm, I know this is the best and highest good. So I need to put, start putting wheels in motion. If you start putting wheels in the motion, then the universe will give you some time and it'll be a more loving, way for something to end or something to begin um, but it is this meaning of life so when you um, right now the shadow self if you're not acknowledging that shadow self if you're not acknowledging the fact that you want to move forward with something then you um, you're going to have a lower energy so the higher energy is going to really lift you up and that is being divinely guided. So if you have the divine guidance, if you listen to the divine guidance, which comes through people, 
which comes through situations, which can come through signs, which can come just through your thoughts uh, or your feelings. You're like, whoa, okay, this does not uplift me. I need to do something about it. Um, you're being divinely guided. So listen, 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 listen. Um, and surround yourself with good people. And when I say good people, I mean people that you feel empowered by, people that lift you up. So right now it's very important to be in inspired, be around wise teachers, be around people that you want to be like, be around family and friends that make you feel good. So if they don't, there's something there, something to be healed. And if you want to reach out to me, I do trapped emotions for healing as well as this, it's a whole combination of for healing that's very powerful when it comes to relationships of all kinds so in patterns so reach out to me for that the next part card is how can I show myself love how can I show this part of myself love so let's see here well self-love but it's understanding and it's being devoted to yourself you can tell like I my throat is starting to become sore I don't know if you can hear that but so spirit th speaks through me through my feelings my emotions um, I see things I hear things and I feel things so when my throat starts to become challenging to speak that means a lot of you are not speaking up you're scared and I get it I so get it but you need to speak up you need to speak your truth you need to come from that place of love and devotion devotion to yourself devotion to spirit spirit is guiding you so it may feel selfish but spirit is guiding you in some way shape or form and it's the highest good of all so the night the card that comes forward is the knight of ariel and this is all like that self-love but really beginning to master it so understanding yourself um how you can really show the shadow self love is self-love is allowing yourself to understand and appreciate um, also find the funny that's another great way just find the funny uh, however you can just joke around like you don't need to be so serious um, and then also you don't necessarily need to know the whole plan but take that next step so that's how you can honor I wish you a very happy new moon and beautiful transformations, lovingly being transformed and learning your lessons lovingly. So, if you'd like your own personal reading, you can go over to my website, www.dorothydstover.com slash intuitive readings, and we can do a reading and healing for you. Clear up some trapped emotions so you can really utilize this new moon, this new month. So until next time, peace, love, and hugs. Bye for now.